Nelly, ride with me. I'm so happy that you guys have reacted uh, so wonderfully to Extra December and our first guest on it, which is uh, the excellent Sushant Givgikar. Vivek Rao says, Rishi K, really wonderful to hear about Sushant's accomplishments. He's a true inspiration to the LGBTQ community, more power to folks like him. Aditya Daftari says, uh, Sushant Divkikar is such a rock star who I totally enjoy for everything he is. He stands for and comes through. I'm privileged to perform with and know him. And there's a wonderful picture of Aditya and Sushant uh, on Twitter. I'm going to retweet that. If you're on my feed, you'll see that. Uh, Nishit says, absolute spark Sushant is. It's wonderful to hear you guys. Thank you. Thank you guys for reacting so beautifully. A last leg of conversation with Sushant Divkikar. This is Good Morning Mumbai with Rishi K. So, you're the first uh, drag contestant ever on Sare Gama, the singing reality show. And uh, that must have been something because this is mainstream yes. television. Yeah. It goes to every household in this country. I was actually very scared because uh, my references are very pop and, uh, you know, ballads, but more Western vocals. Uh, and I, I really challenged myself doing this, but I had to because I wanted to represent. Um, you know, a lot of people think that uh, drag is a Western import, just like they thought that homosexuality is a Western import. The only thing that's a Western import is homophobia. And drag is definitely not a Western import because we've had in our kings and queens' palaces, uh, you know, ever since you can, you can remember, uh, in your history books, you've always seen that men have uh, dressed as women and performed, and that's drag. Uh, so, thanks to them, we have beautiful references, and even our folk dances, our classical dances, have men doing amazingly well and uh, giving the ladies a run for their money, I think, with the grace. But, you know, what I do with drag, uh, what I did with drag was that I wanted to represent every person, and especially women, that are told every now and then that they're not good enough to do something and uh, with my drag avatar I think that that's what I kind of that that's what my message was and I'm so glad that I could be on national television on a primetime TV show and uh, do that I represent every woman for who she is because yeah we all should I'm every woman <laughs> Every room, it's all in me. <laughs> now listen, I look upon you going to a Pride Week, whether it's in Stockholm or any corner of this, of this planet, as a representative of India's LGBTQ community, or just a country as a whole. Mm -hmm. Why just the community? Where else have you represented us? Uh, some memorable Pride Weeks or Pride Days, and uh, share those experiences with us, please. I actually was uh, the first uh, Indian drag queen to perform in London uh, post uh, for the pre-Pride London party, at and I performed. I had the good fortune to uh, perform with one of the original club kids, Amanda Lepore, mm. and that was actually my first stint as a drag queen internationally and then after that of course I had the opportunity to perform at Stockholm Pride with the weather girls and the village people I fainted when I came out of my vanity I died I was like wait one second okay this is not happening and she was like girl do you want to hug what what is happening I was like let me faint a little first I will talk to you later I couldn't believe it I couldn't be these are people we've looked up to it's raining men Hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> I had such a wonderful time talking to you. You're uh, incredibly large hearted. You have this joy de vivre. And thank you for sharing some of your positive energy. It's precious thank positive energy. Thank you. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Yeah. Absolutely. Cheers. Thank you so much for having me. Bob Sinclair, I love generation. We're back with some sport up ahead and something known as thank you next. Because remember, we're finishing the decade, not just the year, on the 31st, uh, 2019.